Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Django. It's a Python framework and in this video we want to to work with uh, how we can work with cookies in Django and I will show based on a normal uh, uh, function based view and then after I will show how we can create it, uh, the cookies from the uh, template uh, view uh, you know from the class based view from the previous video. That's what we're gonna do today, and I'll probably create some a small new pages so we can see what's happening. So yeah, that's it. So thanks to be here today, and I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. If you don't know how to subscribe, you can go in the right corner below and press on the thing, and then you've got to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much, and let's uh, code. I think that's the time. Let's uh, begin with the normally function one. I will uh, just call up here and call it uh, set cookie demo page. Set. Oh, that's fine. And then we're gonna have to request. Uh, we're gonna go inside and then we run to response and render request. And then we need to set cookie page HTML. And then we're gonna create a new cookie page. So that's what response, that's what we're gonna do. So go on your side inside here. And that's what we're gonna do here. You have set the cookie now, and I think it's uh, good to have a go back button so we can navigate around in the website. So let's go inside here and say um, and then we say posts. That's what we're gonna do, and. Uh, Go back. And then just need to go inside the URL here and uh, from port views. And I'll just set cookie demo. And that's the URL we have. And on the main page, you will create a new link down below here. That's the detail page here. Uh, I'll just go in here. Then we kind of save it. Let's see if everything here is working. Nope. I think we need to rebuild in it. the template here. Well, that the post overview. So something is going wrong here. And uh, ah, it's because I'm on the, the on the detail page. Sorry. We're going up here. And then we're going inside and. Yeah. Have any page and that's okay. It's because we need to post here. And we can go back. Yes. Yes. So what we're gonna do right now? It's uh, going back for the views, and then we. Just say response and then we go to set cookie and demo cookie. That's what we're gonna do. And this cookie set from set cookie page. And then we save it and we can go in back for the browser. 
and in inspect going for application and you can see here we have uh, I'll just remove this one and then we don't have any cookie if I'm going to set cookie page you can see we have demo cookie and now we have setting the cookie and we can go in back we still have the cookie we can go in back we can go in one more time back and we have set the cookie so that's how we can set the cookie based on a normal function uh, view but now I think it will be nice to to can do the same inside in the in the post view so what I gonna do it's uh, I create a little bit list here so we have a little poses to samples and then when you hit the page we will save the the last uh, last visits uh, post ID so let's go back here to the editor and uh, scrolling down we have here um, post list is equal to um, we have the title and we have the ID What we're gonna do here, it's just at four pieces, and then we just set to three, four, two, three, four. And then we just send it into the template, and then we'll make a for loop inside and, and create the data on the list here. So let's create the for loop here and I want to build it in the uh, UL and uh, then we have a for loop here called for post and post and then we basically just start the for loop and in for and li and a ref and what we're gonna do inside here is say post whoops post.title and then we just say post and then we need the post ID inside here and then we should be able to go if we're going back to the browser and uh, reload it so let's reloading and you can see we have all the data here now I can go in for the number one so let's just create a backlink so we can coming back the detail page and we just say whoops this one and build the ref and what we're gonna do now is just say posts go back to post overview let's see about we need anything else So that's good to go and uh, now it's time to go back for the views and I will explain you here with the cookies uh, about how it's working and how we can get in the response here so that's I think that would be nice and of course I will change the post detail to the template view because that we're gonna work with I don't think you work uh, in this way so much so let's convert it and template name is equal to post detail for HTML and the context context uh, is equal to return context that's what we're gonna do now and uh, let's just test about it's working and we don't test it so we need a little bit more I know what we have done wrong here I need a self 
Yeah, something is good. Here, yeah, I'll just see what's happening. And the arrow, I think it's because we have to crest here, we don't need that. So let's reload again, and yes, that's how we're working. And now it's finally coming for, for setting the cookies, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, a little bit changed here from from this one to this one. It's uh, we, we changed to call it the render to response. And inside here we want to say context, and then we need the response keywords. And when we have this, we can work with the set cookies. I'll just comment this out a little bit uh, until we have set the cookies. So we need to say the response call the super function detail and post detail and self. And then we want to render to response context and, and here we go and then we can just say response set cookie and we say last visit post id that's what we're going to do now and we just say demo here to see that and what we're going to do is response this out i'll just be sure that's working and it's working and we have the last visits to the demo i'm going back here and take the number four and then we have the demo so let's going back and include the number you probably think where is the number now but what we can do is just to take, remove this one and because we have rent to response and the context and then the number will be inside the context and uh, I can just do this and say a number because I have no the number will be inside the context and uh, then I save it and going back to the browser let's go back here and click number one you can see the last visits post IDs will be number one and I can go down to four and then you have changed it. I can go back to set cookie demo and going back and that's it uh, for now. And uh, the last things I, I think it could be nice it's uh, is to say the test cookie down here demo cookie test it should only be uh, available in five seconds after that we the the cookie will be expired and then we want to show it up here uh, after the set cookie so let's let's do this so you can see how we can use the expiring date and how we can take it out again if you need it and i'll just go up here and what we're going to do up here is say max age and we set it to five seconds you always set it inside the seconds and let's going back to see uh, we'll set the you can see we have can't see that so last visit if I'm going in this way and going back we just still have cookie here I reload then about five seconds then it's gone and that's what we're gonna do now and uh, let's going back to the list overview here and uh, I'll just about the request here and self request and cookie that's what we're going to do cookie data and syntax error and then we're going here to the back post and post list and let's see something like that and I think that 
that's it. Reloaded. Object cooking on attribute. It say doesn't have, and that's because I have cookie and not cookies. I need to set the cookie here. Let's just do this. I know that's working. We don't have the data from cookie data. And that's correct because we don't have any kind of data here. So I need to cookie data. And then we go, you can see the, the cookies here going down here and going back then you have the where we're going here the demo and uh, I'll just see about what happening if we going to back and say demo cookie and going back to the browser and see it's having no expected value and that's expected if in else nothing. And what we're gonna do now is just to take this from in the cookies. And this is the cookie set, and if I reload it, it should be empty. About five seconds and then it's working. So that's how we can take the cookies out again and how you can add the expired date. Thank you so much for watching this video about uh, the Django and the cookies and how you can work with that. I really hope you understand it and you get an idea about how you can work with cookies in Django. And I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it in the right corner below and press the thing and then you will subscribe to my channel and get more videos from me. And of course I really hope you want to like and share this video. If you have any questions please make a comment below. I'll try to answer as fast as I can. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.